good morning or should I say good mid morning I don't know it's like a quarter till 11 and I haven't filmed this morning I haven't said good morning to you guys yet so good morning it is Wednesday no it is not it is Tuesday excuse me it is Tuesday and my kids are at lunch as usual they're always at lunch when I check in with you guys but we've had a pretty good morning this morning um we started the day with a mystery Doug if you're not familiar with mystery Doug go check it out it is short videos of questions and answers that kids ask so it's really cool and my kids love it and there was a new one today it was um how deep is the ocean I think so we watched that and then we did we got to do three rotations this morning so I actually worked with a small group three different times or three different groups on adding suffixes to words to compare so let me show you what I'm talking about so I gave them a word like short and they had to add ER and EST to the word to compare and then draw a picture showing that they understand. So like short, shorter, shortest. So he drew short, shorter, shortest. Big, bigger, biggest. He said this was a volcano and the ocean and mountains. Dark, darker, darkest. This one has a flashlight. And then this is so cute. Sad, sadder, and saddest. So, so I worked with three of my groups on adding uh, the suffix E, S, or E, E, R, and E, S, T. And I have one group that I didn't get to, but I will start with them first thing in the morning. And then we cleaned up and my students are still doing the True Story of Ruby Bridges. And we did a sequence of events activity today. So they had these five sentences and they were at the bottom of the page. They cut them off, put them in order and glued them down. So for the most part, they did pretty good with sequence of events. And then we had our wise groups and my wise group was very squirmy this morning, so they didn't earn any candy. Usually I'll give candy if they work hard. Not today. But um, when my kids get back from lunch, we are going to read the story, Diary of a Spider, and do a timeline. I'll show you. Since we're still t doing timelines for our social studies standard, we are gonna read and then this paper has spider, Spider's diary timeline and they fill in the boxes with information Spider wrote in his diary for each date. So they're gonna do this when they get back from lunch and you can see our target is I can use timelines to show the order of events. So that is what we're doing. My kids have library today so I am going to go have some lunch. I just bought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich today. I am on a very tight budget. And so I'm going to be eating peanut butter and jelly a lot. Because I have to be intentional about my money. If you guys want me to share with you my budget system and how I budget, let me know in the comments down below. I use the Dave Ramsey plan. I follow the baby steps. So if you're curious about that, just let me know. And I might be able to film a video on that on my other channel. So just let me know. I haven't ever really mentioned it before in any of my videos, but if you are curious, then I would be happy to share that with you guys. Just let me know and then, you know, if I have a lot of responses, then I might do a video on that. So I'm gonna go eat. I don't know if we're meeting today, but I will touch base with you guys when I can. Well, this has been a long day. I just now got back to my room from a meeting. I had a school improvement team meeting after school. It's 4.30. My meeting started at 3. So, I've got to leave here in like 10 minutes to get Paisley to gymnastics on time. So, I am right now going through my work basket and sorting papers because I have lots of things to take home in grade. And trying to straighten up just a little bit before we head out. So, they are calling for snow in the morning and all day tomorrow. 
So I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't stick so we can come to school. Otherwise, I don't know what's gonna happen. So Paisley has gymnastics. She's sharpening some pencils because the other day we were in the car and she was trying to do her homework and she didn't have anything to write with, so we had to use a pen. Hi. I guess we are gonna head on out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below if you did. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.